A man has been trying to cut a tree for hours, but couldn't get the job done. So his neighbor comes in and says, you know what, why don't you try to sharpen your saw first? You're going to cut the tree much faster. The man replies, but sharpening the saw is going to take a lot of time. I'm busy, I don't have the time, can't you see that? This situation seems pretty dumb, but the reality is, most of us are that dumb person with a dull saw. We complain about our dark financial situation while we can't even find an hour a week to read the book on personal finance and learn how to manage our money better. It's weird how people complain about their health, their inability to focus and struggle to fall asleep while they don't even set aside a few hours a week to exercise to keep their bodies and mind healthy. The guy who doesn't exercise is no different from the guy who is trying to cut the tree with a dull saw and yet complains that he does not have the time to sharpen it. You know how it is, you graduate, find a decent job and never leave that comfort zone unless you are forced out. Well, successful people all embrace learning throughout their lives and that's why they are successful in the first place. Let's find out how to keep your saw always sharp, why do successful people follow the 5 hour rule and what is the rule of 5 hours in the first place? We will answer all of these questions and many more. So smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's thank our sponsor Datacamp for making this video possible. Do you want to get hired by Tesla, Google, Amazon? Then you need to learn programming, coding, analyzing and understanding data. No matter what industry you are in, learning how to analyze and understand data is critical. That's what Datacamp offers. You want to learn a programming language such as Python or SQL? You can start with absolute basics and move up to professional levels. You can browse by topics to find out what you want to learn. Let's try applied finance. They have courses that will teach you different financial analysis that can help you with investing. You can acquire new skills fast with more than 300 courses that combine short expert videos with immediate hands-on keyboard exercises from over 250 instructors. And the best part of it is that you can sign up to Datacamp by clicking the link in the description. You will be able to check out the first chapters of any course for free. And now let's get back to the video. The 5 hour rule simply states, no matter how busy successful people are, they always spend at least an hour a day or 5 hours a week learning or practicing. And they do this across their entire career. The idea sounds simple, but yet it's so powerful and it's the driving force behind most successful people. The rule is traced back to Benjamin Franklin, who was one of the founding fathers and also a scientist, inventor, writer and was also known for constantly setting aside time to learn. The first thing you would do in the morning is read and write. Warren Buffett, who is undoubtedly the greatest investor of all time, who made more money than he could possibly spend, spends 80% of his day reading. He reportedly reads around 600 pages every single day. I guess that's how he finds such great investments. That's how knowledge works. It builds up like compound interest. His friend Charlie Munger, who is also a billionaire, said, I constantly see people rise in life who are not the smartest, sometimes not even the most diligent, but they are learning machines. They go to bed every night a little wiser than they were when they got up. And boy does that help, particularly when you have a long run ahead of you. But Buffett isn't the only one who credits his success to reading. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk, reportedly taught himself how to build rockets by reading books. The idea of starting a private space company seemed so crazy back then that no one was willing to risk his career and join SpaceX as CEO. So Musk had to teach himself rocket science. Bill Gates, who also doesn't need an introduction, made more money than most of you who will probably make in your entire lives, reads at least 50 books a year. You can check out his favorite books on his channel. Yeah, Bill Gates is also a YouTuber. Let me give him a shout out. Whenever Benjamin Franklin would spend an hour learning or reading, he would accomplish less on that particular day. However, in the long run, that knowledge would make him wiser and more productive and would help him to achieve significantly more. It doesn't matter who the person is and how successful they are. Whether they have toppled the Forbes billionaires list or became community leaders or successful teachers or engineers, they've made learning an important part of their lives. 
When I got into the stock market for the first time, I would spend weeks analyzing a single company to find a good investment. I was pretty bad at all of these things back then. But then I took a course on accounting and finance. I learned how to quickly read financial statements, analyze them, and what to pay attention to when reading reports. And after learning a few techniques, now I can analyze a company much faster, hence saving myself a lot of time. I can analyze a dozen of companies in the same amount of time that it used to take me just to analyze one company. When I took that course, I didn't accomplish much on that day or that week. But over the long period, I've saved myself a ton of time and made my time much more valuable. Most people get stuck in a job that they do every day for years without putting the time to learn how to do that job more effectively, or at least how to do that job much better. Hence, raise the amount of money they can earn in the same amount of time. Here's how to implement the 5 hour rule. Divide your learning into three categories. The first one is basic skills such as communication, personal finance, nutrition. The more you improve your social skills, for example, the better your social life is going to get. The easier it will get to make friends and connections. And believe me, connections are underrated. Sometimes all that you need is one good connection to build a successful business. Secondly, general knowledge. The world is moving too fast, and with every new innovation, new opportunities arise. Whoever keeps himself up to the latest tech takes advantage out of them. Cryptos are a great example. Anyone who has spent at least a few hours learning about them when they were in mainstream has probably earned a few million dollars out of them at least. The same could be said about the internet, electric cars and more. And guess what? There will always be more opportunities ahead. So expand your knowledge. And lastly, improve your professional skills. Whatever your job is, there are certainly ways to do your job a bit faster, a bit better and a bit easier. I'm an investor and part of what I do is read a lot. Before I pick a certain company, I have to read everything about it just to be confident that I'm investing in the right company. And one of the best skills I've developed is speed reading. What used to take me an hour to read is now taking me just 20 minutes at best. Or when I research a topic for a video, I have to do a lot of reading. Sometimes I have to read an entire book just to make a video. That's when speed reading helps a lot to speed up the process. The 5 hour rule consists of 3 major steps. The first is reading. If an hour seems too much, start with 20 or 30 minutes. If you do not have the time for that, at least listen to an audiobook. By the way, I use Audible and there is an affiliate link in the description if you wish to support the channel. Secondly, reflect. It's not just about reading, but making sure that you get the best out of what you read. Ask questions and take some time to answer them. There is always more to what you read besides what you get at first glance. And finally, experiment. Learn something new? Try it out. Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Edison became leading inventors and thinkers because of their experiments. We have Gmail because Google allowed employees to experiment with new ideas. Experiments show what's working. If you can't apply your knowledge in real life, there is little use to it. When you make learning a habit, you will very likely be more successful and productive across different areas of your life. By investing in reading habits, you can ensure you are growing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and if you're new around here, then subscribe and turn on your notifications. We're trying our best to make great videos for you and hopefully help you achieve your financial goals. Thanks for watching and until next time.